Well, time for another update. Uh, I was sick for a week when I got back from Germany, so I uh, didn't get much done during that time. But we're going to turn the camera around and uh, show you what I have gotten done. I'll be leaving for Oregon on Sunday. Today's Friday, so. It's a mess in here. Got the screen all covered up with sheets and the front row of seats because, one, the AC company came out and put couple of more vents in. I knew they'd be generating some sheetrock dust, but uh, I generated a lot of it cutting these holes. And you can't really see up in there unless I can shine a light up there, maybe. There you go. You can see a couple of the uh, Dayton Ultimax 18-inch drivers right there. And uh, couple more right there so let's see if we can get far enough back we can see these even maybe so a total of eight of the Ultimaxes are up there and that was a major job to install those things but it's finally done so let's go take a look in the attic Okay, first we'll uh, take a look from back here. Uh, you can see all this ductwork that uh, got to climb through all that. And also, you see these loose boards here? We got uh, loose boards over here, loose boards out there, just laying there for me to kind of walk or, in this case, crawl on to go underneath that ductwork. But these loose boards, uh, they're going to be. Uh, talked about a little bit later in this uh, update. You'll, you'll hear from those boards, let's say. So I'm gonna try to get back over there, show you the, uh, the woofers. Okay, there they are. It's raining outside. Don't know if you can hear that on the, uh, on the camera or not. So we got uh, four of them there. And we got four of them there. And let me kind of step down here, get a little closer look. You can see the uh, threaded rods that are mounted on there. Maybe get a better look over there. They're kind of, see these things are dual voice coil and you get the terminal mounts there. But you got more terminal mounts down here where I've attached these threaded rods. So it was convenient that they put four mounts for uh, voice call terminals and only used two of them and left two for me to tie my uh, threaded rods to. Those are just quarter inch threaded rods and uh, that cancels out the mechanical energy so the only thing we have is acoustic energy. The mechanical energy just canceled out so you're not vibrating the ceiling with the frames of the drivers trying to move and vibrate. But uh, it's a lot of acoustic energy. There's another one of those loose boards that we're gonna hear from here shortly. So if I can manage to uh, get back out of the attic without falling through the ceiling. Okay, I'm back out of the attic. Gonna turn the camera back around. This is just a little uh, base X four channel amplifier. Uh, it's driving each of the four channels is driving two of those woofers up there. So it's maybe 40 or 50 watts per woofer or something like that. So let's uh, get down here and we're driving that with 100 millivolts on the input. Let's bring that up a little bit, maybe 500. Let's go to frequency. That's 30 hertz. And I mentioned those boards up there. Don't know if you can hear that on the camera, but those boards up there are rattling pretty good. So I'm gonna have to get those out of there. You can probably hear that. That's all that loose lumber laying up there. So let's bring this to, uh, so that's 14 hertz there. 13 hertz. So you can still kind of hear them in there. 15. Kind of goes away there. I'm gonna bring that up to 20. And uh, let's bring the 
amplitude up a little more. So we're driving that with one volt peak to peak. So I'm not sure how much actual power that is. It's probably not much. There's a lot of things in here. It's got to be de-rattled. By the way, I've been working on these things too. They're not mounted. They're just laying against the wall and they're rattling too, I think. So out here in the uh, theater lobby, everything's rattling. It's one of the side speakers. Toilet well, seats uh, kind of going at it there. I don't know if you can see that. But it's, uh, it's definitely moving. So again, that's just with that little basic amplifier. I've got some uh, ICE modules that would give me about 500 watts per driver compared to the whatever we're using, putting through them now, which is uh, the maximum for that amplifier. It's going to be, I don't know, that thing's probably 100 watts into 4 ohms, so probably 50 watts per woofer right now compared to potentially putting 500 into them. I'm not sure that I need the 500. I think for a normal movie, even this little thing is probably plenty. So anyway, we're gonna turn this back down some. Shut it back down. Just shut the amplifier off. So anyway, that's what I got done. Oh, and I've started working on the wiring for the uh, side speakers. But uh, I'm gonna take a bunch of wire and connectors with me on this trip to Oregon when I leave Sunday make all the wiring harnesses and and then come back and install those in the six side speakers and then again i'm working on these things uh, i've got grill frames made i went ahead and pre-cut holes for the uh the magnets that will go in here to match these so this will be covered with a grill cloth and uh hopefully it'll look good when it's done and I cut out sections. I was going to pull all this baseboard out and replace it with stain grade, but I decided I'm just going to cut out a piece, get that where it'll go in there. May have to fine tune that a little bit to get it in there, but uh, let's see. Yeah, it still needs a little work, but, uh, and they're kind of dusty, but I'm just going to paint that baseboard that same dark blue likes on the baseboard on, on these things. So I think that'll look good. And then, of course, uh, the side speakers will be mounted on top of these. Kind of get back a little further here. So, yeah, these side speakers here. Don't trip over the AC. I mean, the uh, trip over the the vacuum there. So, uh, so okay, we got the side speakers. They'll be mounted on top of those things. And then there'll be a similar thing like that inverted. It mounts on top of the speaker and goes on up to the ceiling. And then I'll trim out. You know, when I painted the the blue on the wall there, I didn't bother taping anything because that's going to get trimmed out with probably uh, some kind of a trim that'll be painted this same dark blue. So anyway, that's uh, the end. Of course, the other thing I did is I pulled, I had all those amplifiers stacked up under there. I pulled all that out and because I had dust all over it. So I've got the amplifiers all stacked up back here. That's the left channel amplifier so you've got uh, that, uh, the two seven channel base X's and then the four channel which drives the uh, the dipole woofers over there and then this uh, five channel one which will be for you know probably uh, the side speakers and the rear speakers I guess and with one channel left over and then in the center you got uh, a couple of seven channel base X's five on each of those will drive the center speaker so that'll leave me a total of four extra channels uh, for maybe Atmos or something. And then uh, got an extra five channel there for whatever. So it might not be in the system. Uh, and then uh, the same setup over here for the other channel, except I pulled the four channel one out that'll drive that dipole woofer. It's currently driving the big subwoofers. So anyway, it's still a mess. There's the crossovers. Uh, it's three of the 2x4 HDs in each one of those. I was thinking about redesigning that and reducing the number down, get it where I could just use two of them on each side. But I don't know if I want to mess with that or not. Maybe just leave it like it is. So, but uh, anyway, place is a mess, but uh, progress is slow. 
I gotta admit I'm getting really tired because it's uh you know the more I get done the more it seems like there's still to do so uh, and I've been working on this thing for how long now it's like I've been in the house over a year now so of course I'm not here much because of work but and I was just telling my boss the other day I've got to get back to work just to get some rest so because I work myself harder on this than I do in my regular job but anyway that's where we're at right now and uh hopefully uh I'm gonna be in Oregon until probably a couple of days before Christmas and then I'll come back and have probably eight or ten days here uh, during which time I'll try to get the side speakers all mounted and hopefully get them wired up and I'll still need to design the uh, passive crossover for that I use a program called uh, LSP CAD if you're familiar with that it's it's a really nice program for designing passive crossovers or uh, I guess you can do active also but uh, I really only use it for passive so but anyway so got to get some of these mounted so I can make frequency response measurements and then I'll need impedance measurements to enter into the software to design the crossover so but uh LSP CAD's a nice package. I should put a link to that, I guess, in the description, maybe. So, but anyway, uh, the old Anthem AVM60 is working again. It was demanding some kind of a uh, mandatory update. And I like Anthem's products, but I don't like them as a company. Their support's not very good, and so uh, they weren't very helpful. And uh, But anyway, I ended up basically taking the cover off of it, and... Uh, Put it back on and all of a sudden that's working. At least it was. Let's see if it still is. Yep, still working. There still comes on anyway. It wouldn't even come on before. But uh, anyway, that's gonna have to do for now. Probably upgrade to... Uh, I really don't want to go with Anthem again. I'd like to get maybe a 70 or a 90, but because I like the product, I just don't like the company. I just don't think they've got good customer skills at all. Never have, even as far back as uh, 2009 or so when I was trying the uh, their room correction stuff, which was completely worthless back then. Uh, hopefully it's a lot better now, but but anyway, so uh, I'm not sure what I'll end up upgrading the processor to. But I guess that's, you can see the whole place is still a mess here. But uh, anyway, so that's it for now. Just a short uh, update.